A man is on a train from Calcutta. He never says where his destination is, but he does note that the conditions on the train are horrible. It's hot, it's overcrowded, and there's a stench that permeates the air. Most of the carts are crowded with people. The only one he ends up finding is an empty cart that's dark, no lights. As he sits in the cart, he also notices that there are three men sitting directly across him, all of them wearing coats and ties. They're stoic, they don't say anything for most of the ride. What also bothers the man is the sound of something scraping on the floor and the feeling of something bumping up against his feet. He's not sure if it's a football or something else, but he keeps moving it. The ride goes on for several hours until they get to the next stop. At that train station, the platform is well lit. And when it pulls up, some of the lights from the train station platform shine into his cart. The three men in front of him are gone. But when he looks down, the scraping sound on the floor are three bodies in plastic. And the thing bumping up against his feet, a head. He finds out later on the three bodies in the cart were from an accident that happened on a train before he got on. And that one of those bodies were actually decapitated. True story. Join us on January 27th, Wednesday, 7.30, at the Doris Duke Theater at the Honolulu Museum of Art when we present Mystic Tales of India. We'll see you there. Don't miss it.